From what age is it possible to use school techniques for changing one's consciousness? Is there an optimal age in order to obtain the best effect? Or does it all depend on the person's intent and working capacity? A well-defined question contains part of the answer. And as a matter of fact, you see this for yourself. We are talking about changing one's own consciousness. Change is the key word here. If we change something, we have something to change. And this means that we are talking about the period when consciousness was already formed. At what age is the consciousness being formed? Well, this age is different for everyone. Consciousness consists of three levels, the subconsciousness, the social consciousness, and the superconsciousness. Logic suggests that all three levels must be filled in some way. The subconsciousness is formed quite sprightly and quickly during childhood. The mental body, the social consciousness, with all skills and its three layers, is formed during the socialization period. But when does the superconsciousness begin to form? It must also manifest itself one way or another, because if there is no superconsciousness, we are talking not about changing, but about forced programming of the consciousness. This is already directive programming of the consciousness, to which neither you nor I have the right. So we are talking about the period of life when a person has already formed certain causal settings, that is, the experience, as well as buddhic settings, that is, the formed values. They could be right or wrong, good or bad, it doesn't matter. They are already there. And, of course, a person does know what creative impulses are. When a person starts wanting something different from what exists in this world, and when all these factors manifest themselves, that's when we can say that it is possible to work methodically with our consciousness. Accordingly, until then, it's not possible.